Hello everyone, I'm going to make pickled fish and here I have the pan and we're going to fry the fish and this is 10 pieces of hake, my favorite in pickled fish is hake and snook but you can use any fish you like in your pickled fish and what I've done is I've dipped the fish in some flour and in the flour is some salt and turmeric right just to season the flour okay with clean hands there we go okay now we're gonna fry the fish oh you know for deal cover them nicely now you can make this Two weeks in advance I suggest make it one week in advance <clears throat> if you're gonna make it way before the time try not to add any water to your onion mix okay okay that's done okay. and I'll come back when we take out the fish Okay, we're back and the fish they done. Remember this is the hake medallion, so it takes a bit longer. So it was about three to four minutes on each side. And I'm gonna take it out. Okay, nice and crispy if you want. The batter to be even more crispy, add a tablespoon or two of corn flour to your flour. And then mix it through with your salt. You can add pepper as well. See? Nice and golden. So when we come back, I'm going to do the next step and that's the onions. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the onions. So... One cup of water like I said if you're gonna pickle your pickle fish uh, way in advance don't use water only vinegar okay and the difference between a curry fish and a pickle fish is a curry fish is where you fry the onions first and because this is not a curry it's a pickle like a curry pickle flavor you only pickle the onions so one cup of vinegar this is just your brown spirit vinegar and that goes in half a cup of sugar but it can be to your taste you can add less or more some bay leaves and if you like all spice if you don't have that you don't have to add it I just felt like adding it now this is some peppercorns one teaspoon two teaspoons really depends this is coriander seeds in two teaspoons okay salt very important people always ask me why does my pickle fish don't taste right well it's normally the salt <laughs> So that's a teaspoon and a half, but you will taste later and uh, to check if you need to add more. Now, this is two tablespoons or a table, maybe two teaspoons or tablespoons of turmeric. And then some masala. You can use pickled fish masala. Um... And there's nothing wrong with using curry powder in pickled fish. You do your thing. <laughs> so, about two heat tablespoons of my masala mix. Okay. And now we give it a stir. Okay. 
Okay. Just all the sugar, salt. And now we're gonna add the onions. Now I'm adding one kilogram of onions because we like the onions more than the fish. So this is one kilogram of onions. And you can see it's just sliced into rings. Give it a stir and this you let it cook for just about eight to ten minutes we love our onions crunchy so we won't go longer than that okay now remember don't add any more liquid because the onions they're going to release from the liquid okay Another tip is, if you want, you can add a bit of <laughs> you can add a bit of apricot jam if you like. And if your sauce is very thin and you want to thicken it up a bit, but take caution, just make a slurry of maybe one teaspoon or tablespoon of corn flour with cold water, mix it and then add it to your pickled fish. Okay. Now this is going to boil, cook for 8 minutes and when we come back we're going to assemble. <laughs> okay, the onions, they're done. And you can see it's not too soft. It will still have its crunch when you bite into it. Look at that. And uh, next I'm going to assemble it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to spoon some of the onions over. Look at that. Ooh, yummy. Okay, and now of course, I know it's a lot of onions, but like I said, this is our favorite. If you pour over the rest, Carefully. There we go. There, of course, is your pieces of fish. But let it soak in that juices and just take it all in. Oh, look at that. And there you have it, guys. Pickled fish. Easy peasy. <laughs> you can make for your family. And there we go. Nice pickled fish. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. Bye, everyone.